Krishna had taught me that to take ownership of anyone's karma except one's own is folly. Life is. Things are. We strive in our reality, but to think that we direct the course of life with our striving is foolish. What happens, happens. When we question this, all we are left with is regret. I thought of my father's face, and all I could remember was the peaceful face of the dying old man in the hospital. Everything had happened the way it was meant to be. I returned to peace very quickly. I was still an American citizen. I hoped the U.S. Embassy would help me find my bearings. I wanted to return to the U.S. to tie the human and material loose ends before returning to India for good. Whether I would find forgiveness from Alice's parents, I did not know, but I was determined to try. I would not spend the rest of my life wishing I had not missed opportunities to do the right things. And when I returned to India, I hoped to return some of the kindness I had received. There are many old men dying on the roadsides. There are many seaters waiting to be rescued. And so it came to pass that I saw the news about the Kedarnath flood sitting in the lobby of the U.S. consulate in Chennai. My heart sprang in helpless panic as I watched mountainsides and human construction being toppled like matchsticks in the grey deluge. For days the Indian Air Force valiantly worked on search and rescue. All roads to Kedarnath were blocked. Even if Krishna had survived and had been transported to a different place, I would not know where to look. He did not have any other place except Kedar to call his home. Day after day I looked at the news, scanning the faces of survivors for Krishna. But that piece of relief would never come. Uncertainty is a painful burden to carry. Sometimes hope fuels uncertainty. As the months passed, something in my consciousness told me that Krishna had moved on. But a secret hope stopped me from coming to terms with this knowing. All this happened while I was still trying to find my way back to the USA. It took me many months and the support of many friends to return to America. I did not receive the forgiveness of Alice's parents. When I reached their home, I found myself facing the end of a rifle barrel. But I did what I had come to do. I begged them, in all earnestness and without ego, for forgiveness for all that had come to pass. And when it was time, I walked away a freer man. A loose end was tied now. I would never be able to change anything that happened. Some wounds, I knew, will never heal. My own healing, I knew, would have to happen by my being a part of the healing of others. I returned to India. I had a mission to live. When Kedarnath reopened to the public in May 2014, I was among the first to go. The entire section of the market street leading to the temple had been erased and rebuilt. Krishna's tiny tea shop was no longer on the by-road near the temple. I walked in and out of every shop asking the new owners about my friend, but all of that was in vain. I walked up to our cave, somehow miraculously hoping to see my Krishna walk out from the deeper recesses of the cave, but it was not to be. The cave was intact, but the man who had made it meaningful for me was no longer there. I sat... I remembered. I wept. The sun was shining bright when I finally walked outside Krishna's cave and out to the edge of the cliff. The clouds floated peacefully below over the great gorge, wafting in the inhale and exhale of the slumbering mountain. For the mountain, the great drama of my existence was no more significant than that of the millions and millions of other living beings that called her home. Life comes, life goes, but Kedar, the god of the fields, simply watches bemused. I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around sharply. I gasp. Krishna is standing behind me. Krishna! Krishna's eyes are twinkling in their usual merry gleam. His grey, tousled beard quivers in the wind. Are you searching for me, Arjuna? He whispers with the wind. Don't you know that I am the universe? Why do you worry about my physical being when I am already a part of you and all that is? Throw away your ragged past and step into your karma, Arjuna. 
change lives, create beauty, experience love. This will be your offering to life. I nod my head to the wind. The beams of the evening sun stream through the branches of the deodar trees. I brush away the twig that has fallen on my shoulder and start walking toward the plains.